Hey guys, um, thanks for checking out the video. I got a pretty good deal the other day, and I bet you can't guess what it might be. It's a uh, Smith & Wesson M&P Pro Series Core in 40 caliber. See? Isn't it pretty? See if we can make it look like the picture. I'm not used to this left-right crap. That would be an awful big gun. But anyway, um, we actually went out and fired this thing, and uh, which is what most people do when they buy a gun as they go to fire it. I had some preconceptions about Smith & Wesson to begin with, especially uh, with their Sigma series weapons. And when I saw this had the Sigma series, same trigger system as the Sigma series, uh, which, by the way, this is empty. You can see that right there. Uh, I didn't know quite what to think because I don't like the Sigma series at all. Uh, but anyway, we uh, went out and fired it some. And from the way it feels, the way it handles, I it's something I would recommend. And of course, the core is different from just a regular Pro Series because it's got the milled slide, which enables it to take uh, a wide variety of different miniature red dot sights. And uh, we'll get into that here in a minute. But uh, let's start off with what I like about it. Um, it's got the adjustable, not adjustable, it's, it's the wrong word, it's the uh, replaceable. You, you can take them out, put them in different sizes, small, medium, large. Uh, the back strap, it's an insert, and what you do is right down here, this part that sticks down right here, you turn that and pull down on it and this whole thing, this, this, you know, it's pointing over there, not over here. Uh, this, hello, focus. Thank you. Uh, this whole thing will just come right out of there, and you can put the new ones up in it, and then turn this back, and it's replaced. You have a small, medium, or large insert, which is something I really kind of like about that. Uh, then, of course, you have... All in here around the front strap and where am I going? Uh, up under here and all throughout the center of the <laughs> the center of the grip there, as well as on the back strap, some pretty aggressive uh, stippling, which aids in your grip. I mean it. it other weapons like the FN X45 that seems a little too aggressive because it, it will almost hurt your hand when you grip it but this thing is actually pretty comfortable and that's one of the things I like about it now even the uh, mag release right here it's even stippled and it's not real hard to get to but it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to get to it and it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to uh, drop the magazine so it looks pretty good too um, the next thing was that trigger like I was talking about that trigger I didn't know if I would be com comfortable with that trigger but it actually is a decent trigger I mean there's not a whole lot of uh, squishiness let's just say in that trigger when you meet that resistance and you finally trip the trigger, the reset is not bad at all. It, it's not a bad trigger whatsoever. And uh, I like it. That, that's the thing with me. I either like it or I don't like it. There is no really in between. Um, so anyway, let's, let's keep going. These indentions. 
I wanted to talk about these indentions for a reason. Once again, where where is it? Unloaded. These indentions that you'll see, where is it? Right there. Okay, this one. And believe it or not, there's one right here that you can't really tell when we took the picture. But so it's so it's right here. Right. <laughs> I'm looking at the camera and moving in a different direction. Right here and right here. So a lot of people when you when you shoot, a lot of people do this thumbs up grip. But with this weapon, it's almost uncomfortable and it makes you I don't want to say makes you, it encourages you to grip this firearm properly in order to get you maximum control over this weapon. Uh, and it's on both sides, so righty or lefty, that's good. Now, on this side of the weapon, you'll notice that there is a, uh, well, some people call it a slide stop, some people call it a slide release, but there's one over here for you lefties too. Um, I think that's all I want to talk about on that for right now. Uh, let's go on to the next thing. The uh, serrations on the back of the slide are fairly aggressive and they're, they're easy to grab hold of until you put that red dot side up there. Then you're kind of hindering uh, the grip that you're able to get with that. So, I mean, it's a good thing and a bad thing. What I wish they would have done was right here put some of those uh, same serrations on the front so that it would be a little easier to get a hold of up here. But instead, they decided to go with the M and P symbol on the front, which, I mean, it looks nice, but at the same time, you want function or you want pretty? Yeah, I mean, you could have both, but uh, anyway, it, it's not it's not something that makes or breaks the gun, but it would help to have that on there. Of course, we have the accessory rail. I have a light on probably two of my guns, and that helps for nighttime, but you got to be careful with how bright they are because uh, using those indoors when you're clearing your house at night because you hear the cat knock something over or the dog or something happens uh, you about blind yourself when you use that momentary light but anyway that's just kind of a weird thing popped into my head happens from time to time uh, the uh, the accessory rail is for lights, lasers, stuff like that. You guys know that. Um, but uh, that's a definite plus for this weapon. And then we have the suppressor sights. Uh, they put suppressor sights on this. I believe the main purpose for that was so that you'd be able to co-witness with whatever red dot sight you decided to put on there and it's kind of a nice feature um, because if your battery goes down you can still look through the glass and uh, use your regular sights. Uh, now the J point is what I decided to put on this number one because when I do this stuff and, and put things together um, most of the people that send me messages on YouTube are wanting to know uh, what kind of quality equipment they can get on a budget. This was the cheapest one that I could find. Well, okay, let me take that back. It wasn't the cheapest one I could find. It was the cheapest one that was made for this weapon. Uh, this will take six different ones, and I could probably find the list. I didn't bring the box and the paperwork with me, but it'll take six different ones, 
and this was the one on the bottom of the list which was three hundred dollars and I I haven't made up my mind as to whether or not I like that or not but I'm getting used to it a little bit now if you decide not to have one of these on there you can actually take this off and they have a cover that goes into place over the top of it and there's two screws that hold it into place and it's these screws only not as long uh, it feels great the feel of it is great the sights line up wonderfully um, the breakdown is easy it's almost easier than than a Glock actually it is easier than a Glock that's the only part I don't like is you gotta pull the trigger to get it off of there and you're done and it's all got to do with that that little lever there really Wow, you're going to have your editing cut out for you. There you go. But, uh, all in all, the way it functions, it, it ate everything we put into it hollow points, um, full metal jackets. Uh, we even threw lead down this thing, and it was, it was fine. It had no problems, didn't jam, didn't failure to extract, didn't failure to feed, didn't fail at all, didn't fail. Uh, the fit, well, actually, the failures we did have was ammunition, and that was with Herder's ammunition. Um, I want to say they were light primer strikes, but then when I looked at the uh, the back of the primer, it was a pretty deep indention into that primer so I mean it's just the ammunition that was the failure so there you have it uh, I got a really good deal on this thing I've only got three hundred and twenty three dollars in that and some change um, but that was that was kind of a special deal uh, I think they go for about 649 something like that so it's not a bad setup uh, you can check out at the beginning and the end of the video I mean it, it fires well it handles well recoil is is very very manageable um, I'm still getting used to the trigger I'm still getting used to the way it, it operates but this is probably gonna end up being a really good uh, duty weapon it's gonna end up being a real good uh, concealed carry weapon even so there you have it guys uh, I appreciate you watching and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments I'll get back to you as soon as I can my videos have been kind of sporadic lately uh, but between work and trying to run a company and chasing after a four-year-old granddaughter it just kind of takes a lot out of you so uh, I think the next review we're going to do is going to be on an FN FNX 45 it's not not the tactical okay uh, but I might try to make it into a tactical we'll see about that but anyway thanks for watching uh, stay safe Stay armed.